Robert and Edith May met in high school. It was 1936. She noticed him. He noticed her. And after their first date, they fell in love. That first date was to a Friday night football game. <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> and his dad took us. Did you want to go with him? Oh, naturally. I had picked him out. By the end of the night, it was written in the stars. I thought, oh my, that's the girl. And the feeling was mutual. We wanted to eventually marry. I, I assumed that. But first it was college for Robert, then a job in Illinois. Edith May stayed behind in Pennsylvania. We had correspondence then, back and forth. Until... Finally, we decide, yes, we're going to get married. On December 26, 80 years ago, they married. Robert returned to Illinois, but this time with Edith May by his side. But not for long. His number came up. We were there about five months until Uncle Sam threatened to draft me. <laughs> It was 1943, World War II. Robert was deployed to the Pacific. Again, Edith waited, this time with a new baby boy. He eventually came home and they added a girl to the family. And they have remained side by side ever since. We hold each other up. I guess the, the secret would be don't go to bed mad. Now, tonight at their anniversary party, their love was on full display. I watched as he helped her remove her coat, then he pulled out the chair for her. And now they will carry their affection for one another into the new year. Congratulations to them.